The story of Guadalcanal begins in 1942, pitting the United States versus the Japanese. Guadalcanal is located in the southwest Pacific Ocean, a part of the Solomon Island chain, northeast of Australia. Australian spotters placed throughout the Solomon Islands notice the construction of a Japanese airfield. This airfield threatens the United States war effort in the Pacific denying the protection to Australia and the control they want to establish throughout the Pacific. At the persistence of Admiral Ernest King, the head of the United States Naval Forces towards the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the United States proceeds with first offensive movement in the Pacific since the bombing of Pearl Harbor. On August 7, 1942, American troops invade Guadalcanal with three carriers, one battleship, 24 support ships, and five cruisers. When the troops landed upon Red Beach, they were prepared for a large battle, but the Japanese troops fled into the jungle, unprepared for battle, giving up the airfield. On the morning of August 9th, however, the onslaught ensued in the ocean upon the United States Navy, with the Japanese fleet pushing out the Marine support. On the island of Guadalcanal in November of 1942, American troops noticed Japanese disarray following many attempted attacks on their position and decide to go on the offensive. Japan continues to send troops to Guadalcanal refusing defeat. Then in January 1943, Japan concedes and evacuates the island. Give me land, lots of land, under starry skies above. 